So today, Electropages is here at Munich Electronica 2022, and I am joined by... Jeff Hiddle. And the company is Flip Electronics. So to start off with, tell us a bit what it is that your company does and how you help engineers. Okay, well, we are uh, authorized di distri uh, distributor of yep. semiconductors, electronic components. We really focus on parts that are not on the leading edge of technology. Sometimes we refer to them as lagging edge of technology. But parts that have been in production for some time that are being phased out of the industry, but there is still a great need and demand for and many, many applications that do not need to use cutting edge technology. And, and so what, what kind of applications are we talking about? Because um, from what I can see, it, it, you talk a lot about obsolescence and, and obsolete components. Mm -hmm. And so what kind of applications do they typically find themselves in? So where we wouldn't find us really working on would be data center and consumer products and that type of thing. But when you're thinking about um, military defense aero applications, medical, heavy industrial, um, products that have long life cycles, yeah. um, you know, medical equipment, that type of thing that, that a company produces and they want to make for 10, 20 years yeah. uh, without having to redesign it. Any application like that's pretty pretty uh, open for uh, us. And, and why is it that these industries struggle to integrate new technologies? Why is it they have to keep going on with the ob, you know the obsolete components? Well, it's they don't they don't ride the, the life cycle of needing necessarily needing a faster chip every year or a, mm -hmm. or a smaller chip or a less power chip. They've got applications that are just fine with uh, with the technology that they've designed in, and it's also very expensive to continuously redesign your product and uh, go through a design cycle and they've got a, a product that works perfectly fine that they want to use for many, many years. And, and uh, in the case of Defense Aero, they might use a communication system for 10, 20, you know, decades more than years. And if they have to retrofit um, a fleet of ships or something like that, the communication system, very, very costly for them to go and, uh, and, and, and timely and to go redesign that. By the time they're done, yeah. they've, uh, parts are probably going to be obsolete on that design as well. So, um, so I, it also sounds like to me that it's also an issue of reliability as well. So when you look at components maybe made about 20 years ago, they've had 20 years of testing, so we know that they still work. So when you've got, like, like you say with the ships, for example, you need to make sure that the communications across the ship always work. But right. trying to integrate new technology, you might have issues that you've not known yet because it hasn't had that time to develop. And is that something that you also see as well as a company? Yeah, that, that could be a reason. And you know, something as simple as, the, the new technology is not necessary. They, yep. You know, in a, in a medical application, you have to go through an FDA approval. You have to go through all the different cycles. It's also expensive to integrate the Very new stuff because there's so many things you've got to do. Correct. Yeah. And That's you've got a product that you have market for, you have demand for with your regular customers, and you just want to keep keep producing something that works. And, and so, what is it that Flip Electronics does that helps engineers in those uh, who face those challenges? So, Flip Electronics is uh, we're. we're Many times the a customer would have a hard time finding these products once they're end of life. They get taken off the, the pricing stream, the manufacturer stops making them, they've gone through their end of life notices, customers have made their last time buys, but quite often they can't make the buy and guess a marketing forecast for how long they're going to need these yep. parts. They might not have the financial ability to go buy 20 years worth of product. So they buy what they can, but at some point they become scarce and they have to go out and look. Um, Flip is... Uh, works directly with suppliers. We're not out buying customer parts out of the back of a, a, a customer who maybe has access, so we're buying factory authorized product straight from the factory. We understand where there may be product still that uh, is uh, somewhere, even though it's not on their active price list, we, know, we may understand where wafers and dye is available to have more parts made. And we work really closely with our suppliers to help uh, facilitate ongoing support for some of those segments that want the longer life product. That, that's interesting because um, you talk about the, uh, you know, are you saying that you actually stock the wafers themselves? We can, yes. We can. And so that, that, uh, that gives you a good sort of density in terms of like storage. So if you can store one wafer, that's a lot of, I imagine it's a lot of parts in one. We can, and that's part of it. But a lot of the times we will, we'll, we'll continue to work with our suppliers and we'll, we'll just have them, uh, man, man, we'll find some uh, capacity and have them make, continue to manufacture that part for another run for us. And, and it also seems to suggest, you, you seem to suggest that customers can often, because you said about we don't just buy it from the back of a van, it, it seems that there is a lot of issues in the engineering community with obsolete components, um, I'm not going to name countries, you know, but where, where parts tend to be counterfeit. Yes. And, and so that, and, and how is it that you can ensure that the customers that they receive are authorized parts? And what is it, that, what's your process that ensures that security? Well, for one, we are, uh, we're, uh, we're authorized by the supplier. So we are yeah. buying direct from them. We, we can prove that. We, we provide the 
documentation. Fax uses, sees documentation, that type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's times when we participate when a product line is going end of life for whatever reason, we may sign on with that supplier as they're going out with their customers and we may, if we understand the market, we, will, we may go out and, and go on for a two or three year contract of our own to have products if we know there's a customer base out there that is going to want to continue to use these type of products. So we kind of get out in front of these things uh, and work on uh, parts that we know are going to be needed in two years. And so, if, if, let's say there's an engineer out there who's watching this right now, and, and, and they're thinking, you know, I've got a design, it's got to have a long, a long life, and I, I, need, I need help with it. What is it that you would suggest to those engineers if they wanted to get in contact with Flip Electronics? What would you suggest that they do to get, in, you know, to get into contact with you guys to figure out what they need? Yeah, I think it would be, um, you know, we, we can always look at a bomb or, or a bomb that they're putting together and look at the product and understand where each one of those products are in the life cycle. And if there is some product that we have uh, visibility into that, that may become scarce or maybe going into life, we, we work with them on a plan to maybe go get some of that uh, material bought up, stashed away, and ready for when they need it. So for the engineers out there watching, if you could give them advice in the area of counterfeit parts and sourcing things that might be obsolete, what is it that you'd give? My, uh, my advice would be always try to buy something that's authorized, that you have traceability on. Do not buy from uh, the gray market. Avoid the gray market wherever possible. Buy from a source that you know they're getting factory direct product and that they uh, have the, the documentation and paperwork to do it to avoid unnecessary testing, that type of thing. Brilliant. Well, thank you ever so much for taking the time uh, here today. And it was absolutely a pleasure yeah, to meet you. It was great to meet you, too. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you.